To put your alarm panel in test mode, you're going to click on the security button, then menu, and toolbox. Now you're going to have to put in your master code. If you don't know what your master code is, then you can contact your system owner and they will be able to tell you what it is. Once you've got into the menu, you're going to click on system test. And now your system is in test, so you can go ahead and open up any of the motions or the door contacts to change the batteries without sending any signals to the police. Once your system is in test, you can go ahead and come over to your motion detector. Now this motion detector flips around. This is the proper way it should be. This is looking down. And the way that you're going to be able to take it off, it's on this little ball joint. If you just pull it straight out from that ball joint, it will pop out just like that. Then you've got a little screw here, so just take a little Phillips head to open it up and change the battery. Once you've got the screw removed with your Phillips head screwdriver, then you can go ahead and pop the top off. And you're going to be able to see in here. Now that's the battery. You can see there it's a CR2 battery, so you're going to go ahead and change that battery out for a new one. The other thing to look for is there's three little dip switches here. Make sure that number one is pushed to the right. That will extend the battery life. Um, because it's not quite as sensitive and cause less false alarms. And then once you're done changing your battery, you're going to go ahead and snap the cover back on and you're going to put the screw back in. Once your screw is back in on the motion detector, you're going to take the ball joint and put it back in. You press down and then you aim it just as it was before so that it's going to pick up people moving. So if it's higher up on the ceiling, you want to aim it down more. If it's lower on the ceiling, then you can aim it more that direction. You just want to make sure that it's aiming to be able to get people moving across it. Once you are done changing batteries or testing the system, you're just going to hit the OK or the cancel button either way. And it will take you back out of test and then you just click back until you get back to the main screen.